Yeah, my name's James Dive. Um, I live in Sydney and the title of the work is uh, What a Tasty Looking Burger. Well, with all my works, I sort of start with the location first. So I really like this sort of spot up on the rocks. And then after sort of sitting here for a while and thinking about it, sort of my thoughts turned to fishing and just sort of playing on, you know, the hunter becoming the hunted. You know, what would happen if the fish began fishing in a way? And it ended up with, you know, yeah, what a tasty looking burger, which the idea is it's the best looking burger you've ever seen. But of course, there's these human sized hooks on the back of it and this sort of long rope that stretches off sort of menacing into the depths. I went through, I'd had a hot dog, uh, fried chicken, but then hamburger just seemed to be the neatest way. And then quite finally, what's been controversial is what's on the burger. A lot of people have been wondering, you know, where the pineapple is, but you know, I don't like pineapple on my burger, so no pineapple. Probably from woe to go, it took about eight weeks to make. It was originally just carved out of foam, hand carved out of foam, then covered in fiberglass, then broken in half. The fiberglass then's put back together. It's actually hollow, so I could fill it up with seawater as ballast because it gets pretty wild down here. So yeah, it's just a fiberglass construction with automotive finished paint over the top. Of course, with a lot of glitter as well. Yeah, being sculptured by the sea for me, you know, means an awful lot actually, because about 11 years ago I did the Hot With A Chance Of A Late Storm, which was the melted ice cream truck, and I'd just come back from London and it was sort of my first major work, really, and I think Sculpture By The Sea really took a bit of a gamble on me. You know, I didn't have a lot to my name and I had an idea that I, I really wanted to, to see through and, and they sort of, they gave me enough rope to sort of let me have a go. And, and ever since then, um, you know, I've now been, you know, for the last decade just exhibiting around the world and I've been to three shows in Aarhus for Sculpture by the Sea as well, sort of, you know, helping represent Australia over there. Um, so for me, it's, um, you know, I've got a lot to thank for Sculpture by the Sea, so I'm sort of thrilled to be back, back in Sydney again after 11 years. Oh, look, what I'd like people to sort of see when they see the work is, for me, what I love about public art is it's so, well, it's almost interruptive. Um, people experience art when they're least expecting it. That's what I like all my art to do. You turn a corner and there's a piece of art that you weren't expecting to see. So for me, all my works, I like sort of starting a conversation, I suppose, a bit of a dialogue, and I like surprising people with art. So for me, um, just the ability of people to come around the corner and um, experience art, especially just the general public don't usually expose themselves to, you know, different varieties of art. For me, that's, that's the thrill.